back to my channel. As I have mentioned in the trailer yesterday that I'm going to talk about my living experiences in different Austrian cities. And today I'm going to start with my second hometown, Graz. Uh, I have been living and studied in Graz for a couple of years and also after my graduation I have worked for a while. So Graz is located in the state of Styria. It's actually the second biggest city in Austria by inhabitants. However, this city is not really well known. When I was talking with other people and they asked me, okay, wow, you now live in Austria, where do you live? And I say grass and their face automatically becomes like, what are you talking about? Um, so in the end, I started to introduce grass as, yeah, it is the second biggest city of Austria and it's the hometown of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then people start to remember it. By the way, there is an Arnold Schwarzenegger museum around Graz at Thai, as far as I remember. And uh, I have been there once, but I didn't went into the museum. The entrance was a bit pricey, but uh, they have a very nice garden. And from the garden, you just stand outside and through the window, you can kind of see all, most of the things in the museum already. One of the reasons why I've chosen Graz uh, as the city that to do my master study was Graz is such a nice city for students. It's super student friendly. And from the living cost, uh, the consumption prices, everything. So talk about the rental prices. Graz is, must be the cheapest amount of these three cities I have been lived in Austria. And uh, if you're a student, usually you won't feel too stressed on the expenses in social life because the bars, the restaurants, um, and also cafe houses, most of them are super affordable, especially they have a lot of student restaurant chains, which is amazing. I haven't found it so far in uh, Vienna or in Salzburg. And my favorite student restaurant is this chain. I think it's kind of a corporation union of different restaurants, but they sell similar food. So you can choose from the menu different ingredients to assemble your own food. It could be a pizza, a pasta, or a salad, or burger, or these kind of things. And the price is super, super affordable and for students, that's the best. And nice cafe houses, I do have some recommendations. For example, the Kunsthaus Cafe, uh, which I think in English is Modern Art Museum Cafe. It's directly at the first floor or the ground floor, let's see, put it in this way, at the ground floor of the Modern Art Museum. It's super cozy and nice and they have really good food as well. Um, but I must say before I leave Graz, so before I moved out of Graz, they were occupied by another owner and the food at that time was much better than now. Now it's still okay. I went there last week and all the services are still at the same quality, but I just prefer their menu before. And another cafe I like very much is Tribeca. It's a modern cafe house, very popular among young people. Uh, when I was still studying, I always went there with my classmates uh, to discuss project works, to study together, or just yeah, talk about random stuff. It's very comfortable, very free. Uh, you could see all kind of people there. If you are a big fan of pastries, then I would recommend you to go to different hours. One of the best hour personal idea is the Martin Hour. It's actually a chain, but uh, owned by the same company. Um, they have different theme in different affiliates and the food and the pastries they offered are different, kind of different. So for each affiliate, they offer a bit of a different menu, which I appreciate very much. If you were like me, went to grass to study and at the first place you didn't really speak German or just started, don't worry about it because living in Graz is not really a problem 
without German. However, Graz is not such a touristic city. That means the local people still expect you to speak the local language, although most of them could speak some English. So for the basic livings, don't worry about that. You could definitely deal with everything without German, especially uh, in the universities. Basically, everybody speaks English. But uh, on the street, on the daily life, of course, it would be better to learn the local language. I'm not only talking about German, but the stylish Deutsch, the Styrian dialect, a bit. So just learn a little bit, some words, then local people will really appreciate it and you could see the distance between you and local people will directly get so close and you will feel as a foreigner very much accepted. And by the way, the Styrian accents are kind of funny, I would say, because usually they will put all the A pronunciation R into O. Uh, for example, in German, yes is ja, and in Styria is jo. Kind of funny at the first place. After having living in Austria for such a time, I still have some Styrian accent in my German. <laughs> the next thing I would like to talk with you is the job opportunities. If you talk about working opportunities for foreigner or let's say foreign students after graduating from their study, Graz is a very special city because on the one hand, it's relatively international. There are a lot of um, big companies are located there, headquartered in Graz or in Styria. For example, AVL, Magna and um, Siemens as well. And also a lot of these kind of automotive or industrial companies uh, have important subsidiaries or plants. The industries are very specialized into automotive industry as well as the industrial industry. That means if you have an engineering study background, a technical background, here is the best place for you. But if you were like me, a business graduate, it might not be the first choice for you. Transportation. Uh, talking about the transportation in Graz, I will recommend the Straßenbahn, so the tram. It's really convenient. You can basically go with the tram to most of the important places in the city. Uh, if you really can't find a tram, you could still take the bus. I like the tram in Graz very much. First of all, it's convenient, although it's not always on time. You can meet a lot of different people. Uh, you see the local people, local culture, local life, especially in the tram. So for example, once upon a time I was sitting in a tram, there was a very nice old lady, so really typical grads old lady, sitting also there and looked at me and she tried to talk with me in English. She asked where I'm from and why did I come to Graz, why did I come to Austria in the first places and how do I like the place, what do I find good, what do I find maybe not comfortable and as well as do I miss home and stuff like that. It's really like a grandma next door. Um, it made me feel very warm and yeah, just very much like home I would say. Um, that was one of the first experience I had when I first moved to Graz. I still remember it. You know, the scene and everything in the tram vividly. Uh, I think that's also the reason why I like the tram so much. An important tip for the tram in Graz, which is in the inner city of Graz, four stations from Südtiroler Platz to Opa House are free. This is super, super cool. If I can only recommend one place to visit in Graz, then I will definitely recommend the Schlossberg. Most beautiful Christmas market, in my opinion, in Graz, which is located on the top of Schlossberg. It's super lovely, relatively touristic, I would say, but really worth seeing. It's between the mountains and everything is really nice decorated, the lights inside and the little stands 
one next to another, which is super, super lovely. And there are always live music up there as well. After you enter this Vinas market, this Christmas market, you will feel like I am in a fairy tale. And on the top of Schlossberg, you could find the Uhrturm, which is the symbol of the city, the um, tower of the clock. Um, just right beside the tower of the clock, you could see the whole view of the city. That's breathtaking. I ensure you, breathtaking. You could see all the red rooftops in the inner city and also the skyline. Just amazing. Another nice spot in Graz is definitely the Moor River. Moor is the river goes through the city. Um, it's very interesting because um, first of all, it's very beautiful if you take a walk along the river. On the other hand, in summertime or warmer times, you could see, <laughs> I think this is the first time or so far I have never seen this kind of stuff in other cities in Austria. There are people who are surfing in the moor. There is no ocean in Austria. It means you can't go surfing on the beach or really in the ocean. I think in the moor, there are a lot of rocks and in some places the water goes really fast. So you could see people who are doing steering surfing. Can I say in this way? So they, they were surfing, but with a rope link at their the bridge that to make sure the, the surfboard doesn't move. So they were serving without moving. So, so much about the life in Graz. Um, yeah, I must emphasize this was based on my own experiences and my own subjective feeling. So please do forgive me if it what I said doesn't really align with your own experience or your understanding before. I am really, really welcoming you to leave a comment down there to share with me and with other people about your own experiences and your opinion about living in grass. And on the other hand, um, if you like my content, please do give a thumbs up. Thumbs up. So I will see you next time.